let's get to the part everyone wants to talk about. The man who's still on the freaking team, Jimmy Garoppolo. We're going to look positive and negative, but start with the negative. What is the worst part in your mind? There's, there's a lot of downsides. What is the worst part of the Niners keeping Jimmy Garoppolo this long? Less about the money and more about the locker room. And if you okay. if you decide to bring him back, I think the, the money is a big thing. And I think everybody is going to be fixated on how much money you can get by letting him go. But let's just say, God forbid, and this is not a scenario that I foresee, right? Mm -hmm. It's in the range of possibilities, but I don't consider it likely. Let's just say training camp rolls around and Jimmy's still on the team. What is this locker room supposed to do when they've already galvanized behind him at this right. point? And then you look at the money for a backup quarterback. And then the only thing that gives me some sort of calm is – when you look at how much the higher priced quarterbacks are going for, 35, 37 million dollars, right? But then when you add up Jimmy Garoppolo, Trey Lance, and Nate Sudfeld, who they gave guaranteed backup money to, yeah. Um, it's still far less than what the top guys make. So the quarterback room itself isn't exactly super expensive, but it's less about that and more about what do these guys do when they come to camp. Many of these guys, as we have, as I've said many times, have seen their only success with Jimmy Garoppolo. Or mm -hmm. will stand, ride, and die with him. This yeah. is their opinion, and this is not something that is I'm pulling out of nowhere. These guys love Jimmy. Maybe the league doesn't view him that way. Maybe teams don't view him that way. As we heard, they haven't had any offers. Much of that is being blamed on the shoulder surgery. But at the same time, you can't do this. You cannot do this. If you do that, and and I go to camp, and we go to camp to cover. And it goes back to Trey or Jimmy, Trey or Jimmy. It just causes you, you are becoming the teams that you make fun of. Let me explain. If this was the Jacksonville Jaguars and they had, and they had Jimmy Garoppolo, but they had the first pick and they drafted Trevor Lawrence, but they're not ready to let Trevor Lawrence play yet. They want to yeah. keep running with Jimmy Garoppolo. You would laugh at the Jaguars. You oh, would yeah. sit there and laugh at them. Like the what are these guys would. doing? Yeah. Exactly. They're hilarious. Yeah. So look at the Jaguars funny, being the Jaguars. Right. It's funny yeah. to me that right yeah. now the Browns and the 49ers are in a similar state. They've got their guy that they want to move forward with, but they can't move the other guy. Baker yeah. Jimmy. There's no market. And now you have to preach patience. Now yeah. you have to say, we're just waiting. The locker room can't have this happen when it goes to training camp, even though I don't foresee this happening. That is the biggest, the worst part for me about this whole Jimmy Garoppolo situation. Okay, that, that was really well articulated. I'm going to go a different direction because you nailed that. I'm just going to say for me, um, the worst part about this is, like, I like Trey Lance a lot, um, but I don't expect him to be the kind of guy who makes everyone better right away. He's inexperienced. He's young. I, what, the reason I like starting a young quarterback is the idea that you can put a super team around him, so to speak. He's cheap. The rest of the team can be more expensive than Aaron Rodgers' team. Patrick Mahomes, I like that idea. You can really make him better, right? That's what Miami's doing with Tua. Don't expect him to make the – get a bunch of players around him, pay for the supporting cast, and hope that you prop him up. That's what I think you do – what you do with young quarterbacks until they show that they're super special and, and they can maybe survive without a great offensive line. But if you want Trey Lance – to be successful, I mean, you let Lake and Tomlinson go and didn't upgrade the position. You let Tom Compton go and you're just hoping that Mike McGlinchey can be there. I mean, that's kind of scary. The fact that you would be willing to take a step back on the offensive line. I think the worst part about keeping Jimmy Garoppolo is you weren't able to put the best team possible around Trey Lance. I mean, you still you're trying to sell us that like having a good backup is what he needs. No, 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 no. Having a good offensive line is what he needs. Are you kidding? Don't tell me that with a straight face, John Lynn. That's to me the worst part about it. And and listen, there's no there's no argument for me about that, right? I mean, obviously, I was on the start trade from the beginning and move off of Jimmy right away. Obviously, all right, not obviously, but there's a high probability that the 49ers don't make the NFC championship with Trey Lance, right? There's a probability of that. Okay. There's but a high probability you weren't gonna make it with Jimmy. I mean, hey but, God. But at but at the same time, what you just said, you clear that money off the books, you get yourself a premium edge rusher, you get yourself a premium corner, and now your yeah. defense, which was already top five, becomes top two, top one, yeah. and then you beef up that offensive line, and now you have things around the guy, which what's funny to me is, this is what's really funny to me about it. The 49ers and Kyle Shanahan have done everything that they can to take as much off of Jimmy Garoppolo's plate as possible, yes. and he's a seven-year vet. Yes. 
Why are you not thinking about the same thing in Trey Lance's yeah. in, in advantage, right? Like, yeah. you're not trying to put too much on a kid, and you're surrounding him with a bunch of talent. And your yeah. coaching will uplift all of those things. Yeah. That should have been a thought process. Obviously, you know, the way I was thinking about it was wrong. They made the NFC Championship, almost went to the Super Bowl. So, egg on my face. I, I sound stupid. But that was always the way that I thought about it. If you – everybody would tell you a rookie's never won a Super Bowl. But what team would have been better equipped to at least give this man a shot? Yeah. Than this team, and especially if you could have beefed up certain things around the way. You know, so many people have told me after the NFC Championship that the 49ers lost because they didn't have a good cornerback or a shutdown corner. Maybe that's one of the reasons, and you were running Josh Norman yeah. out there for a while, but hey, look, you still won games. The yeah. thing is, if you have that money, you're able to beef up these certain positions, and you're starting and you're starting to put this team around him and you coach him up. I think that is the part that that is a little bit more frustrating, and I agree with you about that. And the, the thing that I was was arguing last year is not that Trey Lance was like the greatest rookie quarterback of all time, but I just always felt he was better than Jimmy. And you could say, well, Trey's a rookie. A rookie's never won a Super Bowl. Well, Jimmy's a rookie. I don't I don't care how old he is. He, Jimmy's he never won a Super Bowl. Mistake.